So what about collaborative economy? Are we at an early stage still? Do you see this? This is the, this is the ground floor. When I get contacted by major automakers that their biggest problem isn't Toyota competing against Ford, it's that no one, no millennial wants to actually buy or own a car, okay? And when I give my, my big speeches, I show a picture of an electric drill and I ask everybody, how many people own an electric drill? And everybody raises their hand. And then how many people own more than one? And I go, okay, I'm going to make you feel really stupid. According to the Drill Makers Manufacturer Association, whatever, during your lifetime, you will use your drill for 13 minutes. You know, oh, I got the Ikea bookcase, zip, zip, zip. Why would you own something and store it and move it if you're going to use it for 13 minutes over 50 years, okay? Yep. If, if an Amazon drone or even a truck could deliver it in the morning and pick it up, you know, da, da, da. Well, we're not going to need tools. We're not going to need lawnmowers. We're not going to need cars. We're not going to need lots of things. We're just going to need access to them just like the music that I described 15 years ago. So the collaborative economy is getting huge. And in that efficiencies changes tons of other stuff. Here's the scary stat for the U.S. When you go to the supermarket, that food, that produce that made it to aisle three, that fruit and vegetables, 40% of that goes in the dumpster. Now, I'm not talking about 40% of food from the field to the truck to the distribution. The food that made it all the way to the supermarket, almost half goes completely to waste. At the same time, we have people starving and we have people that don't have access to healthy food. You know, huge opportunities for collaboration. So you've seen lots of businesses funded that are the Uber of this and the Uber of that. Some of them are nonsense. Some of them are fantastic. And some of the best ones haven't been thought of.